What's up guys, I'm Old Sergeant. Welcome back to another magnet fishing video. It's been a long time since we've done one of these and we're gonna be giving you guys a really awesome magnet fishing video right next to this military Navy ship. We're somewhere here in Hamilton. They have really dirty waters. They got the mafia out here. They be dumping bodies, dumping weapons, dumping so much stuff in all the waters. The whole plan, the goal for today is to basically magnet fish everywhere around Hamilton in some of the dirtiest waters to see if we can find some murder weapons. And I got Moshi on camera helping out as well. He's doing his own video, so his link for his channel is gonna be down below. Carlos link for his channel is going to be down below as well. What do you guys say we toss the magnet in and see if we can find something. First throw of the day right next to this big military ship. I don't know if we're gonna get kicked out by the military, but let's see what happens. I've tied the rope around my hand because you guys know me. Yep. I always lose these damn things. It's deeper than I thought. Really? I don't feel the bottom yet. Oh man. Now I do. Okay, it's made it to the bottom. Oh, how, how do you know if you feel it? Yeah, you feel it on the rope. Bro, I'm gonna fall in the water. Yo, watch out, watch out. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Nothing. We got nothing. <laughs> guys, it is way watch too out. deep in there. Like, I can feel the magnet. Okay, it just hit the bottom. I'll let it drag a little bit. Let it drag. Now, I don't know if we're gonna find any murder weapons over here right beside this giant freaking Navy ship. It's a ghost ship, by the way. I'm trying to get permission to film there. Um, I don't know, I can't, like, it feels like I'm hitting the bottom, yeah. but it's not hitting the bottom. It's what weird. You feel if, you, if you're rubbing the bottom, man. Yeah, I'm not feeling any rubbing. If, at first, it feels like it actually makes it down there, but it Maybe could be just- soft. Maybe there's so much algae at the bottom, you can't really feel it, I don't there's know. There's no way it's clean here, though, right? How deep is this place? Bro, we're not reaching the bottom here. There's no way. Is that why that we're not? Does it have to hit the bottom? Yeah, because that's where all the metal's at. Metal doesn't float, right? There's no way. We Drop might... it right here. Drop it right where you're standing and see if it goes. Okay. Unless I tie another rope. No. See, I can feel the magnet. It's still not going down. Okay, we still haven't hit the ground yet. Okay, now we've, we've hit the bottom now. <laughs> How long is your rope? What do you like to know, pal? There's no way. There's nothing there. There's, there's no bottom. Let me get closer to the ship and see. Yeah, maybe it's just deep. I think it might be too deep here. So the military is gonna come out of the base and they're gonna be like, what the hell are you guys doing? So the, see how like the uh, how the rope's kind of just floating on the water? Yeah. That's how you hit the bottom. It's not trying to get dragged in there. Weird, dude. I don't get it. Oh, I feel something though. Oh, I got nothing. Damn, bro. Nothing on the magnet. See how deep it is here? What's that? Do you know the depth of the water here? No, I don't. We're trying to magnet fish like metals and stuff. Oh yeah. But it seems like it's not making it to the bottom. <laughs> well, it's pretty deep out that way. I don't know what it's like here. Yeah, I think it's actually too deep here. All right, I'm gonna throw it in again. We'll see. There. There is no way. If it, if it's too deep here, we're gonna have to go somewhere completely different. I feel something. Okay, I actually feel something tugging. It could be just algae. Okay, I'm on the bottom. I'm gonna drag it. I'm gonna drag it. I'm gonna drag it. Dragging, dragging. Yeah, we're definitely on the bottom. I'm dragging it, but I feel I feel like sand and like algae. I caught an eight pound bass here last week. Really? Really? I was gonna mount it, but too many people were watching. Ah. Uh. <laughs> 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 guys? Yeah, I got nothing. Man, I was really hoping this area would be good. I am reaching the bottom. Shut up, you stupid chicken. I hate those damn chickens, dude. I was really hoping we would get something here. I've always wanted to magnet fish in Hamilton, but Carlos tell me he knows a bridge that's really terrifying nearby, and apparently it's very dirty there. We might actually find something cool over there. Damn, what an L. I got, I got a couple seashells. By the seashore. One little tiny seashell. Okay, so I'm giving up on this place. Um, we're gonna go somewhere completely different. Hamilton? Yeah, we're in Hamilton. Where do you think we are? I thought we were in Toronto. No. <laughs> if we were in Toronto on the water like that, there'd be at least three, four, maybe 500 people. Yeah, really? yeah. Especially wow. on a day like this. It's a nice day. It's cold, but it's nice. So we switched locations and we've made it to this little canal, a very dirty looking canal here in Hamilton between two bridges on a highway. This is exactly the type of spot you'll find the mafia coming in and dumping weapons, you know, bodies, 
God knows what. Like, there's a tow truck there. That looks kind of sketchy. There's another car over there. That looks kind of sketchy. There's a chair. That looks sketchy. What are you? Don't jump, Moshi. Don't jump. Let's get the magnet and throw it in to see what we can find. Oh, we are 100% going to find something in here. Listen, if I was in the mafia and I just shot someone, I would want to come here and dump my gun. Remember, if cops show up, if, cop, if cops show up, record. Because I don't know if we're supposed to be here or not. This looks like a, maybe like an off-limits area. Could be just like a like a an emergency road or whatever, but we'll see. I wish we had wireless magnet fishing, like a wireless magnet instead of having a wire. You know, just toss a magnet in, and then somehow it comes back to you. Three, two, one, let's go, baby. Whoa! If I had a gun, I would want to throw it as far as I can, right? Oh, it might be too deep here. No. Oh, I can feel the bottom. See, I can actually feel the bottom here. So this is perfect for magnet fishing. We'll see. To get something. Watch out. Yeah. I got this big pipe. Dude, we're, we're gonna find something here. We gotta be patient, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Got a pipe. Oh no. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> Mo, I'm, I'm gonna get it for you. No, I'll get it, I'll get it. I'm gonna get it. it. I'll no, get it. I'll I can't. Get it. No, I don't want you to fall. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't want you to fall and die. I can't oh. swim. Good luck. Bro. No. Bro, what the hell? Watch out, Mo. Mo, don't jump off the bridge! Bro. Don't jump off, Mo! Bro, that's ridiculous. <sighs> Bro, that's ridiculous. I'm so happy I didn't lose the magnet, though. Damn. Carlo! Holy shit. It smoke. got stuck to the pipe down below the rope broke off. <laughs> ah! Wow. Oh, oh, I got something 100%. I told you, I told you I was going to be there. I got Bro, something 100%. Let's go. I feel it. Unless it came off because it's feeling lighter now. But hey, let's see. I'm actually going to go down there so it doesn't get stuck on that pipe. Watch out, watch out, Mo. <laughs> Guys, don't try this at home. <laughs> try this in Hamilton. What the heck is that? It's a tree. <laughs> it's a branch. Branches are metal? No, it just got caught. Uh, Shall we do another one? Oh, it went in my mouth. Yeah, me too. Dude, you feel that tug? Either I'm caught on something or I got something metallic. Doesn't that mean the water is just tough? No. <laughs> I'm I'm literally okay. I'm dragging it. I, I feel something. I think I let go. The thing is, damn. If if the thing is too heavy, it's gonna let go. But what what could be that heavy? Piece big pieces of pipes. Like look, there's piping here. Yeah. I've got something here. I can see it bubbling. Look at the water. How it's bubbling. It's like where? I think I'm pulling something up. Oh yeah. I'm definitely pulling something up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Carlo, what did you get? I got something. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, I let go. You see it? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw it. Yo, go back, go back, get I it, go back, go. get it. Whatever that was, I got it again. All right, pulling it up. You see it? Yeah. All right, I got it. It's right there. It's right there. What is that? I don't know. What the heck is that? It's a big wire. Could be like a, a cable. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, Ethan. Bro, we gotta get, we gotta find the weapons, dude. There's so much stuff here. Does that not look like a body bag? It does. Wait, what is that? I don't know. What is that? It's like white. It's definitely something there. Oh, what the hell is that? Bro, what is that? Oh wait, it's a tarp. There's like a tarp in there. Huh? Watch your stuff. <laughs> Do you know how to swim? What? What do you mean? I taught you how to swim. Yeah. I literally taught you how to swim. I know. Did I not? You did, yeah. Well, I, I still sing. <laughs> Just think about it this way. If there was like a gun in here or a knife, and you have all this water, all this mass, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. You just yeah. gotta get lucky. Yeah. It's so annoying. It, it, it's so it brings annoying. your hopes up and then it breaks it down. Because there is stuff down there, but they're really big and stuff. Maybe my magnet's just not good anymore. Is Carlos' magnet good? I have other magnets I should try, actually. But this is like a really strong magnet. Yeah, dude, like, this is strong. Yeah, it should be good enough. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw this magnet one more time. If this magnet doesn't work or get me nothing, I'm going to switch magnets. I have a wider one. It doesn't pick up as much as this, but it's wider, so we can probably get more stuff. Let's go. Okay, we have switched magnets. We got this. I don't know what this magnet is rated for, but it's definitely wider. You never know. Let's throw it in a couple times. If it doesn't... What? 
She got something. Oh, Carlo got something. Let's go. I found this thing here. It's a a, tr uh, a bracket for something. Oh, right yeah. where my magnet is right now. Yeah. Both of us need magnets there, but hopefully don't clink onto it. There's something big right here. All right. Bring it up. We're assisting Carlo. Where, where is it, Carlo? Right there. Somewhere right. in that area. So Did I go to the bottom. It's big. I can't pull it up though. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm gonna pull the magnet. Yeah, like both go, go, of you guys. Go, go. I'm pulling on it. Watch, watch. See? So b both of you guys are going to pull the same thing? Try. Okay, let's go. Try, oh, we're together. We're on the same magnet. Uh, no. Uh, we got each other. <laughs> together forever. Oh, no. Oh. Pull. No, watch out, Mo. You're going to fall. <laughs> pull hard. Really? No way. There's Actually? We have two of the strongest uh, magnets. There's no way. Wait, there's metal in between them, though. Yeah, I know. Hold on. Pull hard. No, no, no. I got the best hard. idea. <laughs> there we Let's go. go. Yeah. All right, take your little petite magnet. <laughs> oh no! What? Now it's stuck there. No, I'll get it off. I just I'm trying to tighten my rope. I'll get it off, all right. There we go. Okay, okay cool. Let's not do that again. Yeah. Wait, what? Why'd we're cleaning the wa we're cleaning the water up. Oh, is that the whole point is? <laughs> I threw it back in. Can I have that footage of him throwing it back in? Sure. Is <laughs> he upset? <laughs> yeah, nothing. All right, we're gonna move along. Go. Bro, look behind you. There's like pillows here. Where? Oh Where my there's god. Pillows. There's something. I've lost hope to be honest. I really thought that coming to a, a place that's like very polluted, we would find something. Good luck. Damn bro. I give up. Alright, we are trying out one more location and it's that drawbridge that's right behind me. We're pretty much in Burlington now. We were like in Hamilton, now we're in Burlington. There's a drawbridge. I don't know if it's gonna be deep there or not, but we're gonna try throwing the magnet in there and we're gonna see if we can actually get anything. I think it's gonna to be too deep, Carlo. And the beach here, it's way too clean. I don't think we're gonna find anything. We didn't get it on camera, but they kicked us out. We can't go into this area here. They're doing construction. They're not letting anybody through. Usually you'd be able to go through here. Um, so yeah, that was a fail. Let's move on to the next thing. It's so pretty here though. I can imagine it being nice in the summertime. Hey, wait a sec, there's a guy over there on the other side. How'd they kick us out? So we gotta go to this bridge. Oh, we gotta drive across. Yep. Carlo, you Carlo, you gotta see the view here. You yeah. gotta come see this. Come on. Look at this view. Hold on a second. Look. Here. What? The view I want to see is right here. The guy behind the All camera. Right, let me zip my pants. Oh, oh, not that view. Okay, sorry. Anyways, this is the view that we got going on here, Carlito. It's so pretty. Nighttime, you can sit by this. Yeah, we kind of we kind of gave up on the uh, on the magnet fishing video. Um, it just wasn't working in our favor. We could actually magnet fish from here if we wanted to. I was thinking that. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. We're gonna find anything. I actually doubt it. But we're gonna go to the screaming tunnel and do a camping video later on. So we're just stopping off at the cottage to show it to Carlo. Grab ourselves an espresso, wind down a little bit, and then we're gonna start a camping at a screaming tunnel video. That's gonna be interesting. What are you doing up there? I'm laying on the bed. Why are you naked on Moshi's bed? I'm not. Bro, Moshi, Anymore. Moshi's cheese now. He went bare this naked. This guy put his butt. Bare there. naked butt on your bed. On my bed. He just put his butt I right on his bed. I sleep there. I'm, I'm, I'm taking the front of the car now. Did you shit on your, did you wipe your ass wait, today? Wait, bro, this is coming from the guy uh, that walks around with toilet paper. Literally. Bro, he doesn't, wa he doesn't wash his butt. I do. He wipes, doesn't wash. That's nasty. Yo, I'm sitting in the front of the so car So th there's crust on his bed now then. Ew. There's probably crust oh, on Oh, don't the say hell? that, don't say that. Bro, you just crusted his bed. disgusting. <laughs> The good thing there's a second bed up there. <laughs> Are you putting crust on his pillow too? No, don't, don't, bro. Uh, you, don't, you don't even wash your ass, bro. Go, go fight him. Can't, go fight him for this spot. I can't believe we're having this discussion ass. right now. You don't <laughs> wash your ass, he says. Well, what the hell? I want to cuddle with you. Get in here, bro. That's crazy, man. Bro, take off your pants and put your ass in his face. Bro, he doesn't yeah. wash his ass. Is he naked on your bed? He's his ass is basically is just sitting on it like. Did the you spread your on? Carlo, did you spread your cheeks too? Mochi, 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 come here. Come no. in the bed with me. No. Man, you guys are just funny as hell. 
Yeah, watch your step coming down. That is not a safe ass staircase. Oh my <laughs> god. I could probably handle Moshi's weight. I don't know about you. I'm not, he's heavier than me. Yeah. I weigh more than Carlo. I swear to god, I will stab you in the butthole with a knife if you sit on my bed with your bare crusty butt. I will literally stab you. You will not do. You mother. F oh my fucking. This how you get mole, ready? <laughs> get, the hell, get the hell out of my room, you son of a bitch. Get out of my room. Get out. Get out of my bed. Pants him down. Pants him down. Get the hell out of here. God damn it. I told you guys he's a serial humper. What's wrong? Bro. What happened? We got the popcorn. Bro, they the brought curtains. you popcorn. They brought you popcorn. <laughs> he, he asked for popcorn yesterday and they brought him popcorn. I can't believe it. Oh. Bro, he's oh so happy. All right, well, we're definitely leaving them a good review. Bro, this is amazing. So in the ad, they had a popcorn machine, like a fully big one. When yeah, we yeah. got here, the, the machine wasn't here. And he, he told the guy that let us say, he's like, where's the popcorn machine? The guy's like, oh, it's out of service right now. So he literally brought you a popcorn they bought, machine. They bought two versions. They bought this one. Oh, my the campfire, God. Campfire the one, yeah. campfire, and they oh got this one. Oh, my God. The guy's so excited for wow, popcorn. Wow, man. That's, That's hilarious. So <laughs> Guys, Moshi made popcorn and I think you put him in a little bit too long because they're actually on fire, bro. Did you try one yet? Bro, you gotta take that outside. Your popcorn's legit on fire. Nah, I don't think it's on fire. Bro, it is terrible. Yo, wait, smell why like wait, why is there a lot of smoke over here? There should not be smoke like I want that. To see how it's been open for like five minutes now. Wait a minute, yeah. Usually it's not this smoky. Bro, because there's popcorn that's actually on fire in there. You left it for too long. Can I try one? Is that burnt? Bro. Let me that, try one. Try it, yeah. Ready? They're pure burnt. I, I just smell like nasty burnt popcorn. Maybe not the top one. Top one's no. Something's smoking in there. It shouldn't be oh, smoking yeah. like that. Oh. Something's it's legit. It's stuck to the, the bag. Legitimately on fire. Ah. Go get a bowl. Oh, it's burnt. Yeah. Yeah, go. It's on fire, dude. Your popcorn is literally on fire. Go get a bowl and dump it in a bowl and see. That's freaking hilarious. This guy left it in the microwave for like 10 minutes. Yeah. You're eating pretty much charcoal at this point. No, get a bigger bowl. Here, put it in like. Is there bowls? Put it in this. Let's see what this guy burnt. Oh my god. What? Look at the bottom. Oh, look at the oh middle. Oh my. Wait, it's God. still smoking. <gasps> oh, that's all burnt. Oh my. That's why it's smoking, because you literally set fire to your popcorn. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, oh that's oh, what's oh. on fire, dude. You, then you, water, you, you literally have popcorn that's on fire. Oh my God. Dude, this guy literally set fire. I've never seen that happen. Oh my God. <laughs> Bro. What okay. the no hell? Way to the microwave anymore. Bro, you can't be trusted with a microwave. That's why I don't cook. Oh, you're not even cooking. It's literally one That's button. That's why I need me a woman. Did you push the popcorn button? No woman. Bro, you have a popcorn button. That did, is. Did you not hit the popcorn button or did you put 10 minutes? <laughs> no, I did my own. It is a miserable day here at the cottage. And I am about to get my day started heading to Mississauga to film some abandoned content. Moshi's staying back. Got the homie Carlo with me right now. So Carlo's got this laser pointer and he's been just trolling people with it. Which is just He's gonna look at that, look at that. It's right on the sign. Right on that sign. Oh my <laughs> god. If a cop sees you, bro, you're done. I'm having fun. I know, he's having fun. I'm, trust me, I'm making sure he's not pointing at it in anyone's eyes while driving. He's just pointing at signs and stuff. But we had fun with it last night too. <laughs> Guys, this lady has a really interesting license plate. I don't know, can you pronounce that, Carlo? Jizz! <laughs> Her license plate is literally jizz. Like, why? Why, lady? She likes the jizz on her. Oh my god. We just got to this Turkish spot. Is this your first Turkish spot? This is mine. You can have all that. They give you free bread. It's fr fresh out the firewood oven. Look at that. That looks so good. That's one for you. No, you want bread. And yeah. One for me. And then you put some cheese in it and some butter. Mm. You know, we got lots of food coming though. Yeah, guys. We just got to like the Mississauga area, and uh, we're about to go film some abandoned mansions. There's a whole bunch of them out here, so we're gonna be stocking up on food. Like we're hungry. It should. What we ordered should fill us up for the day and keep us going for this entire. Um, adventure that we got going on here today. I'm gonna be filming more main channel videos, but I will be giving you guys sneak peeks here on the vlog channel. Guys, look at what we just got. Oh my god, this is like the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Are you, can, can you put the camera down? I'm starving, let's go right now. Man, we got some lamb, we got some Adan spicy Adana, this is chicken, lamb and bajin, some rice, some more beef and lamb and chicken, donair, more burgul, and more lamb and bajin. This, what, this is donair? Yeah, that's donair meat. Oh, that's good. Oh man, everything's gonna be good. The, these lollipop lambs, they look 
absolutely great. Okay, guys, update. This is one of the yummiest Turkish places that I've been to. It's called Mama Fatima. Um, pretty good. We've been destroying the meat, but the appetizer just showed up. <laughs> and I love this. Lahme bajin. Mmm, nice and crispy. This is going to taste amazing. That was really delicious. I definitely recommend this place. It's called Mama Fatma. Turkish cuisine, Mama Fatma. Was probably one of the best Turkish spots I've had. And I would probably give it a rating of probably an 8.5 out of 10. It was delicious. Now, I've been to Turkey and I've had Turkish food there. Obviously, it's like 10 out of 10 to the places that I've been to there. But this... This is real authentic Turkish food if you guys want one and you're in the Mississauga, I think. Where are we? I think we're in Mississauga, maybe Vaughn. No, we're in Vaughn. We're in the Vaughn area. We're actually close to Wonderland. So yeah, if you're in the Wonderland area and you want some good Turkish food, definitely go here. It's really good. It is freaking windy and cold. We just finished filming something really cool. Look at an abandoned mob mansion. Out here in the middle of nowhere. It's actually right behind me right now. We uh, That was an interesting one because it's been a long time since I've done abandoned mansions and like stuff like that because you guys know I was in the DR for three months and I didn't get a chance to film big places like that but it, like houses I mean um, it was nice it gave me that boost of motivation that I need to keep going so that's one abandoned mansion down for the main channel video we got three more to go today my goal is to film four videos in one day hopefully I can do it we are going to be doing a Mr. Beast Feastable Chocolate Review. Now, these are the new ones. I did the old ones with Shadia like a week ago, and we found the new ones in the store. So we're gonna review one right now. What should we review? The dark chocolate, the milk crunch chocolate, or the peanut butter? Carlo, what do you want to go for first? Uh, I'll do any of them but dark chocolate. You don't like dark chocolate? I, I'm not I a fan of it. I love dark chocolate. All right. so you know what, let's go for the peanut butter. And we'll review the ones. I'll try the dark chocolate one, but the thing is, I'm going to be biased because I don't like that, and I'm not going to give it a good review, so I'd prefer maybe not to, but... You don't like dark chocolate? I don't. That's racist. Just let you know, that's racist. I'm just joking. It's not racist because I am the definition of dark chocolate. Straight oh, out. my God. Straight out of my hands. Uh, You've never had them before? No. I had the old versions. Wait, which one is this one again, sorry? This is the peanut butter. Mmm. It smells peanut buttery. I had the old versions, and they were actually not that great. Oh. Night and day difference. They're not too sugary, believe it or not. Well, it's not bad. You can have the rest of that. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this because this is garbage. Mm -hmm. I'll dispose of it. You can dispose of that. No problem. <laughs> no, you're... I don't want it. That's all the chocolate I wanted. <laughs> all right. Feastables. The new Feastables peanut butter one. I give it a... I give it an 8 out of 10. The other one we had last week was Shadia. The old versions. I gave the... Like... It was okay, but there was barely a hint of peanut butter. That one was like a 3 out of 10 compared to this one. Good job, Mr. Beast. 